Hello, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. The music got fixed, that's good. That uh, trippy honky-tonk was kind of something, wasn't it? Anyway, in the last episode, the demons attacked the people of Court Seum at the Sacred Shrine, and we went and helped them out and warded off Alhazad's evil plan. So now we have two rune drives. We're gonna attach them to the golem with Nikolai's help. I gotta keep turning around to tell you this. You listening? You listening? You listening? You listening? You listening? And then we're gonna go to the photosphere, take down that shield, and face those demons once and for all. I wanna talk to Jane first. Is a world where innocent children and kind people are the first to die worth protecting? Well, yeah, because then they won't die anymore. Jeez. The rune drives upgrade the shield mechanism of the Earth Golem. The Earth Golem was called the Fort of the Gods, the ultimate machine created to counter the demon race. It may be mankind's last fortification. I'm an armsmeister. I learned everything I know from old man Zeppet. That's great. We knew that. Why would you mention it again, though? It's not related. Hey, Earth Golem! The two rune drives will restore the weakened power output of the Earth Golem. Its anti-phasing shield is at full power. It will disintegrate anything that touches it. Oh. If you think about it, it's the ultimate offensive weapon as well. I don't believe people should possess powers beyond their control. The history of our people is to fight for power. With power, there is a chance for meaningless destruction. The old man Zeppet used to say, The saga can be reversed if the power is used to protect the precious. Oh, that's nice. There is a defini definite difference between the power to acquire and the power to protect. Are you listening, Jack? I will revive the power of the Earth Golem for the righteous fight of protecting Fulgaia. Yay, Earth Golem agrees. I think he got cut off there, though. <laughs> he just went, Mup. There is said to be a ruin in the snow-covered northern mountains where a light of illusion guards against intruders. Some say that the demons live there, but it's not certain. The Earth Golem should now be able to break through the light of illusion that is probably the demon's barrier. All right. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Right? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's go. All right. We've been trying to do this for many an episode. We're finally getting into the photosphere. Bridges? Where we're going, we don't need bridges. Photosphere shields? Fuck them! I'ma tear this shit down with my bare hands! Woo! You sure the Oath Earth Golem can handle this dreaded thing? Watch out for the shield boundaries. If any part of your body touches the shield, you'll lose it. Okay, okay, we got the message. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Okay, princess, do your thing. Tell this guy to neutralize the defenses. They are not tools, Jack. Please, Earth Golem, would you help us? Earth Golem's like, yeah, sure, my dude, I got you. It's changing colors. Oh, it's gone. You did it, Earth Golem. This is fantastic. This is powerful, all right. And they say the anti-phasing shield is a defensive weapon. Well, yeah, the best uh, defense is a uh, good offense. Am I right, Jeff Goldblum? Let's get inside this thing. The enemy won't stay quiet much longer. Oh boy. This feels exciting, doesn't it? 
Sneak, 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 sneak. All right, this time I want bombs. Boom! Oh no! There's monsters here too? Who would have thunk? All right, preemptive strike. I know what I want to do. Now these things are definitely weak against holy. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Let's let's change that. Up oh, that. The, the. You, you, you go back to your reflex. That's fine. You're gonna have the holy ring because you attack before Cecilia can cast anything. Whoops. No, 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 no. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. I know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? There we go. There's my line of thinking. You get holied. She holies Rudy, and then Rudy holies one of them little vampire dudes. There we go. Teamwork. That's efficient battle planning. There we go. Die. Life drain. No, please. Ah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Onward. Let's blow up more things that we don't understand. That's how we do. Boom. Ah! Oh, right! These things! Okay. Here's what's gonna happen. Rudy, yeah, Rudy's gonna attack one of those. You're gonna attack this. For some reason, I specifically remember, because it's so weird, those lights are holy. But that guy isn't. Spontaneous combustion. Ow! Ow! Let's see if I'm right. Was I thinking of something else? Gotcha! Okay, now you can put on an evil ring. So I, I bought all the rings now. Yay. I'll go back for more rings someday. Uh, you, you, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Nice job, Jack. No, please. Ah! Stop blowing up on me. Nicely done. Look at this. Look at this work we're doing here. We are professional dream chasers. Okay. More splody things. Right? Oh no. Okay. I got hit pretty hard there. My friends. There we go. You feel better? Good. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, so don't step on those things. Let's go. What's this? Potion berry. All right. Pew! Still blowy uppy? Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> it's cute. Oh no. You wanna know what happened? One of those things flashed me. Rude. Just rude. You don't do that to a person. Okay. More blowy uppy. Uh what's what's over here, precious? Anything? Oh, I want to go back that way. Oh no. I've been having a strange craving for the last, like, day or two, and I couldn't put my finger on it, and I just realized it's for Alpha Getty. Have any of you ever had Alpha, Alpha Getty? It's like, it's the salt in it, I'm sure. You don't really become a person until later on in life. 
What's in here? I keep flip-flopping in which way I should be going. Oh, yeah. Okay, I went the right way first. There we go. You know, I've actually been thinking a lot about a lot of other old RPGs from back in the day that I haven't played in many, many years. And one of them includes... Oh, heck yeah, buds. A Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. That was a good one from what I recall, but I only played it once. Yeah, I only played it the once and I was pretty young at the time, so I probably forgave a lot of really bad dialogue, which which was pretty typical of Japanese RPGs back then. All right. Oh, I'm back at the beginning again. Okay. Did I just come from there? Gee, I wish I was paying attention. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nope. Great. I'm just in a reminisce mood for all the old games. Um, I was also thinking about King's Quest. I think there were like, oh, there were so many of those. Ooh, snuck by that one. Yeah, I think I played a lot of King's Quest Seven. and that's the kind of game that came on like a floppy disk. Ha! We're not getting that way. Hi! <laughs> oh, you heard me, huh? The teardrop is this way. What's the matter? Don't you want it? So, you expect us to just follow you? <laughs> yeah, right! First of all, who the hell are you? What do you want? You're afraid, aren't you? Me? Afraid? The one who does not have the courage to look at the truth is called a coward. A coward is afraid. All right then, I'll follow you. The photosphere is being prepped for travel. Hurry up and follow me. Oh, thanks. Uh, as I was saying, uh, King's Quest Seven was kind of like those old text adventures, but it incorporated point and click. Oh, hey. I'll tell you the truth. We share a common goal. I have no intention of fighting you people. I need your assistance. We must destroy Mother before the photosphere burns away all of Fulgaia. Interesting. I wonder who my new ally is. Oh, an arm. Twin orbs acquired. Woo! That sounds like a cool gun. What are these? Mexquito in a nightmare. <laughs> oh, Mexquito, what a name. Uh, okay, we're good. Oops. Let's attack! I'm sure they're also weak against Holy. Yeah. Oh, the Mexquito couldn't cut it! Alright, Rudy, show this nightmare who's boss. Oh no. <gasps> That was nightmarish. That's right. Good job, Rudy. <laughs> anyway, with King's Quest, I'm pretty sure they remade it. I, ha I haven't played it. I have no idea if it's anything like the originals. But it was a really cool, hard puzzle game. So I like old puzzle games, is what I'm saying. Also old RPGs. I'm a typical millennial full of nostalgia. <laughs> Stairs, where's the elevator? I have to say, it's pretty hard to carry on a conversation with myself when I'm interrupted every 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, am I gonna make it through this? I feel like spotlights are bad. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. Ooh, a new sound for stairs. Uh-oh, that's not good music. Am I ready? Sure. I'm ready. Oh, the teardrop! I am short on words. Mother's heirloom. The warm light. Oh, 
I'm so relieved. Holy moly, we got it back! It's been many hours. Tool teardrop acquired. Woo! The photosphere and mother derive their powers from the teardrop. Now that the power is down, you can attack the mother. This is your one and only chance, humans. This is as far as I go. If you do not destroy Mother now, your world will suffer the same fate as mine. An insider demon. Mother destroyed his planet. I couldn't care less. We've been dancing in that guy's court all this time. Might as well dance the last song. Let's go for it. Sweet. Now let's go all the way back down those stairs. Fight another few battles. Let's do this. Yeah, this is how you get down in style. Quickly and without incident. <laughs> I am crafty. Yeah. Yeah, this is why they pay me the big bucks. Oh, no. <laughs> I just learned the nightmare enemy can put you to sleep, too. Go figure. Whoops. There we go. Um, okay. Let's go back to where that hallway was we couldn't pass. I'm pretty sure it'll be open now. This one. Alrighty. Oh yeah, it's off now. That's really good. That's just convenient. Where are we at here? Alright, I'm gonna end the... Am I? Yeah, I'm gonna end this episode right here. We will continue on our onslaught of the photosphere in the next episode. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Adios!